Compton scattering. An X-ray photon is scattered from a free electron mass m at rest. The wavelength of the scattered photon is lambda prime and the final speed of the struck electron is v. Part a. What was the initial wavelength lambda of the photon? Express your answer in terms of lambda prime v and m and as a hint use the relativistic expression for the electron kinetic energy. Okay. So the incoming photon has an energy hc over lambda and the electron will gain a kinetic energy gamma minus 1 mc square and the scattered photon will have an energy hc over lambda prime. So we have the energy conservation equation. Now from this equation we can pull out lambda. So uh, if you take the reciprocal of both sides you can see that lambda is equal to hc times 1 over gamma minus 1 mc square plus hc over lambda prime and what is gamma here gamma is our relativistic correction factor it is 1 over square root 1 minus v square over c square Okay, uh, now we can uh, rewrite this result by uh, multiplying this with lambda prime and taking lambda prime upstairs uh, so that we can write lambda is equal to hc times lambda prime and then we have 1 minus v square over c square to the power minus 1 half. This is our gamma. Minus 1 so here is our gamma minus 1 mc square And we have multiplied this by lambda prime, and then we have the term hc. Okay, so you can see lambda prime times gamma minus 1 mc squared plus hc, and lambda prime goes upstairs. And uh, if I also uh, divide this by hc, so if I take this into... Uh, hc parentheses this is what I would get lambda is equal to lambda prime divided by one minus v square over c square to the power minus 1 over 2. This is our gamma. Gamma minus 1. mc square lambda prime. Now we're dividing it by hc. So this becomes mc lambda prime divided by h. And here I have plus 1. So you see, if I take this uh, bottom to the HC parentheses, HCs cancel out. Here I have 1, and here I have, instead of MC square lambda prime, MC lambda prime divided by H. So this is my final answer 
to part A of the uh, problem. Alright. Uh, part B. Through what angle phi is the photon scattered? Express your answer in terms of lambda, lambda prime, and m. Now here is my photon uh, scattering of this uh, electron at rest. The photon scatters at an angle phi with respect to the uh, horizontal, the, the new photon with the wavelength lambda prime, and the electron scatters at an angle theta. So in this process, I have energy conservation because this is an isolated system, and I also have any don't have any external forces present, so I have momentum conservation. So I can write here that we also have momentum conservation. So let me take this upstairs. Uh, so we also have momentum conservation. Why? Because there are no external forces. So if I write the initial momentum of the photon, incoming photon, it is uh, h divided by the wavelength lambda, and the outgoing photon has an x component of its momentum, h over lambda prime, cosine phi, and the electron has a momentum, gamma mv, and its x component is cosine theta. And as for the y component, uh, so this is my y-axis, this is my x-axis, uh, h over lambda sine phi, lambda prime, sine phi is the y component of the photon momentum or the uh, photon that scatters at an angle phi and gamma mv sine theta is the y component of the electron momentum and these two are equal why because the initial y component of the momentum is a uh, linear momentum is zero Okay, so uh, the question was, through what angle phi is the photon scattered? Well, we have seen in the lecture that the energy and momentum conservation equations uh, lead to Compton's uh, scattering equation. And what was Compton's scattering equation? Compton's scattering equation is lambda prime minus lambda is equal to h divided by mc uh, multiplied with 1 minus cosine phi. So from this equation, I can read what phi is. So uh, you can look at the derivation in the lecture notes. Uh, phi is equal to cosine inverse 1 so what we're going to do is multiply lambda prime minus lambda with mc over h and that will be equal to 1 minus cosine phi so cosine phi will be equal to 1 minus that so cosine inverse 1 minus mc divided by h multiplied with delta lambda, where delta lambda is lambda prime minus lambda. So this is how we calculate the scattering angle phi for the photon. Let's look at part C. Evaluate your results in parts A and B for a wavelength of 5.1 10 to minus 3 nanometers for the scattered photon and the final electron speed of 1.8 10 to 8 meters per second give phi in degrees. So we have lambda prime 5.1 10 to minus 3 nanometers, V 1.8 10 to 8 meters per second, mass of an electron 
rest mass is 9.11 10 to minus 31 kilograms the speed of flight is 3 times 10 to 8 meters per second in vacuum so using the result in part a i can calculate the wavelength the wavelength lambda for the incoming photon is going to be a lambda prime which is 5.1 nanometer is 10 to minus 9 meter so multiplied with 10 to minus 3 i have 10 to minus 12 meters divided by gamma minus 1 so what is gamma here 1 minus v square over c square so i have 1.8 square divided by 9 to the power minus one half that's gamma gamma minus one mc square mc uh, so our result was mc lambda prime over h so it's 9.11 10 to minus 31 3 times 10 to 8 uh, multiplied with lambda prime 5.1 10 to minus 12 divided by h Planck's constant 6.63 10 to minus 34 joule seconds and add to it 1 so this gives us a wavelength lambda of 3.34 picometers And the change in the wavelength, delta lambda, is 5.1 minus 3.34. Uh, that's equal to 1.76 picometers. Now we can calculate the angle. Phi is equal to cosine inverse 1 minus... we have m 9.11 10 to minus 31 kilograms 3 times 10 to 8 meters per second multiplied with delta lambda 1.76 10 to minus 12 meters that's picometers divided by h 6.63 times 10 to minus 34 joule seconds and that gives us a scattering angle of 74 degrees. Okay, so in this problem, we talked about Compton scattering of an X ray photon, uh, incoming photon with wavelength lambda, hitting an electron at rest, producing an elect a photon. The scattered photon at an angle phi with respect to the horizontal wavelength lambda prime and the electron gets scattered at an angle theta with respect to the horizontal um, since this is an isolated system energy is conserved incoming photon energy hc over lambda is equal to the electron uh, kinetic energy gamma minus one mc square uh, plus hc over lambda prime so um, of, of, obviously at the beginning here we had hc over lambda plus mc square and the plus mc square here but the rest energy is cancelled so this is gamma minus one mc square plus hc over lambda prime the energy of the scattered photon so this is going to give us lambda if i take the reciprocal of both sides and divide uh, the bottom with hc so i take this into hc parentheses so i have gamma minus one mc squared divided by hc uh, so that's going to give me uh, lambda is equal to lambda prime times gamma minus one mc lambda prime over h plus one because the lambda prime has been taken upstairs so this is how i calculate lambda now momentum conservation equation x component of the momentum 
is h over lambda equals h over lambda prime cosine phi plus gamma mv cosine theta. y component of the momentum is initially zero. Finally, it's h over lambda prime sine phi minus gamma mv sine theta equals zero, which means these two are equal. Now, in the lectures, we have shown that the, this leads to Compton's, uh, is Compton's scattering equation. Lambda prime minus lambda is h over mc1 minus cosine phi. So from this, we can pull out phi to be cosine inverse 1 minus mc over lambda, mc over lambda, delta lambda, which is lambda prime minus lambda. So if we substitute the given values to this equation, we can calculate lambda and the scattering angle.